Hey, coffee and espresso lovers. I'm here at the Barazza booth at the SCA show in Boston with Quinn Anderson. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Now, I, I usually talk to your dad every year about stuff, but you are very involved in this, and we're gonna take a look at the Virtuoso Plus, right? Great, I'm looking forward to it. Tell, tell us about this. Now, the Virtuoso has been around for how many uh, years? Since 2005. Since 2005. Uh, it's a really nice grinder for Home use, Home you know, use? great for brew, brewing coffee, and then also for uh, light uh, espresso okay. use. And so the changes here, so people might be familiar with Virtuoso, yeah. so I have one at home. Um, what's different? Great, so we used to have a traditional 60 second timer on the side of the unit. Mm -hmm. We went and replaced that and we put a digital timer up front that's very similar to the sete uh, display. Okay. So you're allowed to uh, dose your grind by time now. By time. And repeatedly every single time. Nice. Yeah. And it's got, now I saw you were showing me the pulse feature on this, right. which can kind of get, you know, to help you figure out what kind of time you need, right? Exactly. So the Virtuoso had a pulse plot in front, so we wanted to keep that function there. So to access that, just hold it for about two seconds, and it's going to give you pulse. So you can go and grind coffee, and it's going to add up the amount of time that it took to give you your desired weight. So you could take this off, put it on a scale, weigh it out. Oh, I need a little bit more. Grind coffee to your desired weight, and then rotate the knob back to where you were. So you can get the time, like if you know I'm doing a grinding for drips, say, and I need you know this much, or I want to weigh it, or whatever. I get that total time just by pulsing. It'll give me a time, and then I can use that time. Yes, exactly. Every time. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's It'd be really awesome. nice and repeatable that way. And it's also nice that you can actually see how much uh, coffee's in the bin with these LED lights that we put in there. So you can see the coffee actually cascading down and you know how full it is gonna get. That's cool, because in some of the other ones, there's a little more frosted design, yeah, kind of so, dark there. Yeah, so nice, the cleaner lid uh, for both top to match the rest of our grinders that we have. Also, we went and we put a little nice little touch on things like putting the Barazza engraved here like we did on the Forte. Nice. And then also here we engraved the Barazza there on the side like we did for the Sete. So we're bringing, you know, kind of classing it up a little bit over, you know, after 14 years. Now, for people who are looking for a grinder maybe the first time, you know, there's a lot of grinders out there um, that are, uh, how, how do I say this? A little more plasticky and maybe yeah. not as well built. And they like, why do I want to spend a little bit more and get something like the Virtuoso? It's just classy. I mean, it's, it's a classy grinder for a darling from back in the day, and it's still, you look at it, you want that on your counter. You don't want to hide it away and put it in a cupboard. It, right. it does stand out, mm -hmm. but in a very subtle, refined way. All right. And it's just heavy and dense to pick it up. It gives you a good feel. Good feel. It's, it's well built. Yes, it's got it a is. long history and just some improvements. Oh, yeah. To, to make it even more usable. Yes, because the, the inside's exactly the same as the old Virtuoso was. So we didn't lose our grind consistency and our flavor profile that everyone loves. Awesome. Hey, Quinn, thanks a lot. And Thank you know, you. guys, if you're looking for a really nice home grinder for brewing and even some light espresso, maybe with yeah. a pressurized basket, Virtuoso, a really good choice. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.